Okay. Oh, hey mathematicians. Glad you're able to join me today. We are gonna do some math movement. So first, let's learn the different movements we'll be doing to practice some fact fluency. Okay, so make sure you stand up. No, really, stand up. And make sure you have a lot of room around you. You're gonna be moving. Can you do this? Can you do this? This? Okay, then you have enough room. Here we go. First move you're gonna to need to know is a squat. When we do a squat, I like to put my hands together like I'm giving myself a high five and put that in front of my chest and you're going to bend your knees to squat down. Squat, squat. Some people like to put their hands out in front and squat. Our next movement is arm rolls. So for arm rolls, you're gonna make fists and stick your arms out like the letter, the letter T. You got a straight letter T. Okay, you're gonna roll your arms forward in little circles, like your fists are making little circles in the air. Maybe count to 10 and then roll them the opposite direction backwards. Next exercise. This is gonna be high knees. You're gonna hold your hands out and see if you can run in place and lift your knees high enough to tap your hands. This one might make you breathe a little heavier. Here we go. Oh, I couldn't quite catch my hands, but I was putting those knees up as high as I could. Okay, that's high knees. Now we're gonna um, try a windmill. Windmill, you're gonna stick your arms out in that letter T again, and then put both legs apart wide. You're gonna take one hand and top, touch the opposite toe. So not the toe on the same side, but the other side. And then stand back up in the T. Then switch to the opposite hand, opposite toe. Back up to a T. Windmills, let's practice. Awesome. Whew, I can already feel my heartbeat increasing. How about you? Okay, well now that we know those exercises, we are gonna practice some fact fluency, which means figuring out the answer um, as quick as we can, but also using some strategies to be um, efficient problem solvers. So your teacher's gonna put up a slideshow. And if you think the answer is on this side, you're gonna do whatever exercise is listed there. But if you think the answer is on that side, you're gonna do whatever exercise is listed there. And as quickly as you're able to figure it out accurately, you start doing that exercise and keep going until your teacher says it's time for the next one. Oh, I'm out of breath, I need some water. Have fun and stay hydrated. <laughs>